welcome. I'm Dr. Dudley Harris. I'm the founder of the San Antonio Eye Center. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend and colleague, Dr. Jason Ming. Dr. Ming began his medical career in China, where he went to medical school and he did a residency. He served on the faculty of his medical school there for several years. In 1991, he and his wife moved to the United States and he took a position in research here in San Antonio. But he wanted to get back into the active practice of medicine, and so he did an internship and a residency in ophthalmology here in the United States. He finished his residency in 2001, and that same year he joined my practice here at the San Antonio Eye Center. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Nice to see you. Okay, all right. Good morning. How are you? Nice to see you, Dr. Me. Let me see what I can help you today. Okay. Right. Okay, what brought you here today? Having trouble seeing with my distance at, at night time, driving. Oh. All right, so uh, I'm gonna check your eyes and find out what I can help you. Thank you. Okay, let's go with the chin up here. You feel comfortable? Uh -huh. People are often curious to know how a doctor chose to become a doctor in the first place and how the doctor decided to become an ophthalmologist or what specialty to go into. They're also curious to know how does a doctor keep up with the field that he or she has chosen? How do they study? Can they speak Spanish? And what do they feel about the practice of medicine? In this video, you're going to hear the doctor talk about those questions. And you're going to come to know who this doctor really is. I became interested in medicine um, when I was a high school graduate. That was back to uh, 1976 when China was in a nationwide um, political turmoil called Cultural Revolution. Um, all the college graduates, high school graduates, even middle school graduates had to move to the countryside to receive what we call re-education from the farmers out there. But this is the time we had a chance to stay with the farmers uh, live with them, work with them, and better understood them. At that time, we saw a lot of uh, people uh, who had some medical issues, but because of the poor economic conditions, they could not uh, buy medicine. They may, or may they have not enough money, or they could not find doctors nearby. Well, we came from the city. We sometimes brought in some medicine from home, for the emergencies. They sometimes will give to them and help them out. And uh, oh, since they thought we are the higher education in the city, they always ask some uh, medical questions. So this um, forced me to learn something from a medical reference book and help them out. So that's the time I got involved and interested in the medicine. I became interested in ophthalmology when I was in the later year of my medical school. Um, well, I'm such a person that likes to use my hand very well. And uh, sometimes yeah, I like to paint, sometimes I make some small toys with my hand. I'm very good at that. So I determined that I like to be a good surgeon. 
even you know when I do the uh, experiment in the laboratory or in the surgical training I did it pretty well and I feel so confident that I could be a good surgeon um, the eye surgery attracted me because the eyeball is such a small area that you have to have a good uh, hand control. As a general surgery, you can move your hand in a large uh, range, but the eye surgery, you have to control very well. So that will make me feel so um, proud that I can use my hand to do the surgery and I get a very good control. In my practice, I saw a lot of diabetic patients. I enjoy to treat them because I feel if we found the problem early, we treat early, we can almost always protect the vision. Well, the ophthalmologists, like any other specialties, yeah, they developed very fast in the recent years. Where there's a lot of uh, state of technology available to uh, provide the best uh, treatment for the patients. Uh, to do that, uh, not only we just uh, yeah, review some journals and then share the information with the colleagues, but we also go to some uh, special uh, training uh, courses uh, and also a uh, national conference, ophthalmology academy conference to get some updated information and training and so that way you also keep those updated technology in your mind and apply those to our patients. One of the difficult cases and I saw actually is a patient when I was doing the internship in the surgery and then when I joined the practice I saw him again but this time it's not a general surgery problem but the eye problem. He's a truck driver, the 18 wheel trolley driver and he supposedly had a good vision but unfortunately he got a very bad uh, iritis and because of the iritis each time we see you get a lot of information going on the pupil is so small and even you could not see the back of your eyes but for unfortunately later they got a bad cataract and he even could not drive at all so this is the time he, he, he saw me and he tried to ask and see if he can solve the problem. Well, you know, when you do the carrot surgery, you got to dilate your pupil and make the carrot uh, look clearly. You can do what you can. But in this particular case, because the pupil is so small and, and, and a lot of uh, information make the iris stuck to the carrot um, surface, and make the surgery very difficult. But since if he do not do it, he cannot see it, he cannot go back to their work. So that's the time I feel like I, I, it's my job to help him to fix the problem and send him back to his work. Because he enjoys his work. And he travels all the long from state to state. But now he could not do it. And during the surgery, what I did is that we tried to use the special uh, instrument to, uh, to separate the uh, adhesion and to make the pupil bigger. And then we used the special dye to stain and make the, uh, the cat look pretty good and then take out the cat out. And actually, the patient see pretty good. Even they can see far without the glasses and they're so happy to go back to his work. Yeah, this is the case I, I never forget because I knew him before and then this time we take care of the eye problem. I love ophthalmology because at that time we decided to become an ophthalmologist because I like to use my hand to do the surgery. I, have, I, I feel confident that I have a good hand, I can do the surgery very well. And the later on, not only for that, but also we see the patients come to me and they appreciate that I can see better, I recover the vision. That movement is so proud and so um, happy. So that's why 
I feel like I loved of of the march from the very beginning until now. I have been practiced in of the march for more than twenty years. I knew my duty from the beginning. As a doctor, your job is to help to solve the problem for the patients and then keep their health conditions. But specifically as an ophthalmologist, not only you want to help them to see better, but also the helmet had a good quality of the vision. And also sometimes I would educate the people to prevent some problem that could happen in their lives, in their eyes. So in order to do that, not only as a um, doctor, you got to learn all the time to keep up with the state of art technology, and but also we try to um, get some information from the patient, what they are concerned about, what I can do, or what the technology can do in the future. We can send this feedback to some manufacturers or some pharmaceutical companies who try to share this information or try to provide the best quality for my patients.